Numbers are up this week. Yeah, well, when there's zero, the only way you can go is up. Five weeks to the election, eh? And three years of bad decisions. Well, I should raise it to four years a term. Three years is a lot, but it's not enough to truly screw things up like that extra year can. Let's see. Conservatives are down. Progressives are up. Greens are up. Independents are down after that gaffe last week. Oh, which one? Every time that twit Clive opens his mouth, he shoves his foot in it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Justice Party is the same. Families is up. And the hunting and fishing party are just glad to be acknowledged. Come on, where is she? Is this her? No, no, that's not her. Look, stop pacing. I'm trying. It's very easy. You just stop moving. You're my political advisor, not my walking advisor. Okay, that's got to be her. Y- yes, it is. Uh, Miss Craig, it's good to see you again. I could say the same. I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival, Miss Craig. Uh, just not too eagerly. Have you... I hope not. Desperation is so unappealing. Is there somewhere we could go to have this interview? The clock is a ticking. Uh, yes, of course. Right this way. We have a conference room cleared. Alex, I was wondering if you've had a chance to read this morning's newspapers. What? No, I haven't. And I don't plan to. I didn't think so, because the pile I usually put aside for you hadn't been touched. Right. Well, there you go, then. I was wondering if you were wanting to read them now, as I think they might be a bit important. Joanna, I'm about to have a meeting with a reporter. An important reporter for the midday edition. Right? Oh, so that was a reporter. Thought I recognised her. She's a bit thin-looking. It can't be healthy. Joanna. Yes? Shut up. Go away. I need to go help Will with this reporter, all right? Now, of course, in these changing times, people are largely a lot more open to things that, even three years ago, they weren't even on the table to discuss. Aha, uh-huh, yes. Changing times. Ever moving on, hey? Parties change all the time. Laws and society changes. We need to keep up and appeal to people's core beliefs. Lower taxes. Safer and more fair working conditions. Lower taxes for all or just your friends in their ivory towers? Everyone is getting a fair go. There's certainly more than others might be offering. Not to name names. No, none of that. But we could name names, if you wanted us to. Well, I can do that myself, because your party has in recent years been revealed to have some pretty troubling... That was an event that was really unfortunate. And it's not the party we want to be a part of. And what event was that? Of course everyone knows. I was asking Mr Ferguson. Um, that was the... Uh, yeah, the, the Grantham, Grantham incident last year with the elves. Not on. Definitely not on, that kind of behaviour. And these last two years, we've been completely candid. Well, as candid as we can be. To remove ourselves from those people. To move our country forward and forge a new identity. How about the accusations some have made that you're being more than a little imnacious of the Tony Ivans party? Imnacious? Uh... What does that mean? Prone to imitation. Well, that's the first time I've heard of that. Well, um... Imnacious. If it's right. Wrong to be imnacious. Imnacious? Yes, imnacious. Well... It's basic human decency. And elf decency. And if that's just imnacious, then, um, be a decent person. Well, they do say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Will's stance on the matter, it comes from a genuine, deep-seated desire to do right. Yes, thank you. I'm not just doing what people tell me to do. I have a genuine desire to be right, to do right. Right. What's your stance on the damning report in this morning's papers where documents were leaked to the press revealing the illegal spending habits of your party's senior members? I'm sorry, what's this? As reported by three of the city's biggest newspapers, one of which was my own, a document revealing spending from senior party members such as unsanctioned vacations, house and property extensions, the gilding of a lavatory in gold, the funding of militant hate groups, just to name a few. Is he whining? Everyone listen up. The goose has laid the golden egg. And it's landed right on our plate. A 14 page article in this morning's Veridoon Tribune. Dishing the dirt on our government's little underhand deals. They have effectively lost. We may as well hold the election today as a mercy kill. 
to save them the next five weeks of the torrential downpour of media and public scrutiny and fury and bile. We can do one better and add to the storm. These filing cabinets are the burn files. Any bit of information we've collected over the years corroborating every claim this article makes and more and you lucky people are going to comb through it all so we can deliver it to the press in 90 minutes with a little bow on top. Get sorting. Well, this isn't how I thought today would go. Do you have a problem, Robertson? No problem, Michael. There's a whole box here just on Grantham. Joanna! Joanna! Joanna, where's the papers? Oh, so you do want them now? Where are they? Give them to me. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Is this about the leak? What? You knew about this? Well, yes. I read the papers and was trying to see if you had read it too, but you were very rude, so I decided... Where's Grantham and Trenton? Where are they? They're both in a meeting together, actually, in Grantham's office. And just to circle back around... Good Lord. ...to the beginning again, the buzzword here is sustainability. Do you have any buzzwords that'll make you shut up? Is this ever going to come up? Is it even necessary? Sustainability is one of the party's key pursuits, Peter. Well, can't it bugger off? Grumpham, have you seen the papers? Excuse me. We're in the middle of a meeting here, a private meeting, about this government's future. We're not going to have a future thanks to this. Newspaper report? Massive expose? I was with Will in an interview with a reporter, and she drops this on us. Anything bad about this government? In print. With evidence. In this morning's paper? Why didn't I see this? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, it was Joanna's fault, of course. She was late with getting it to me. Draft a statement, deny it all, send it a paper for the midday print. Oh, no, no, this is bad. This is really bad. We're beyond the time for statements to the press. This is all hands on deck, grovelling to the public if half this stuff is true. But we can manage. This is fine. Did you see what was on page 30? Page 30? Oh, no. They can't prove that. They don't need to, Peter, because they already have. Where's Will? What? Will, Will Ferguson. You said you were in a meeting with him and a reporter. Um... You didn't bloody leave him in there, did you? Will, where's the reporter? She just left. Where is she? What did you say to her? What's her name? Miss Craig. Her first name. No idea. Ah, ah, I see her. Miss Craig, Miss Craig. What did you say to her? Uh, Miss Craig. Hi, I'm Marcus Trenton, Senior Public Relations Manager. Look, I just wanted to say that... Whatever that report said, it's not indicative of what this party is now and is striving to be. And whatever it was Ferguson said... Mr Trenton, save it. What's done is done, and I can't help it if your junior minister is a bumbling, tongue-tied fool. Well, you know, I can have you for defamation for that. Not when it's true, you can't. Same for the rest of that report. Good day. The point is that you are his advisor. And you should have stayed with him to advise. Shut the interview down, get that reporter out of here, and tell us. Look, I can acknowledge that I made a mistake, but it doesn't make me responsible. Well, that's done it. The dike has given way and the flood has begun. Wait, was she... Oh, don't be crude and offensive, Alex. We have enough of that in this party to begin with. In fact, get out. You've only made things worse. So, I just wanted to check if there was anything I could do to help deal with this crisis. Not now, Joanna. Please leave and take Alex with you. Yes, do fuck off. I understand things are rather strained, but could we please not have swearing? Oh, Joanna, please go. Uh, although she is right, Peter. This swearing isn't appropriate and isn't helping. I could bloody murder Alex, leaving me there. Well, you can do that later. Oh, speaking of which, the wounds are open and there's no going back. The best we can do is patch them up. A, a statement to the press, if lie and deny is our best option. There you go again with your analogies. Now, I did try to give you those newspapers. Joanna, there is something you can do to help, but we need to be quick. I just need access to the archives and quick transport to the newspaper office. What'd you turn up? How you doing? Oh, hey, Jordan. Good. You? Ah, uh, yeah, you know. Fun with water tables and regulating pesticides. I hear you've come across some poison yourself. Yeah, it's one word for it. Front dump this on us, and it's all feeling rather... ill. Get out? No thanks. 
Just drop by to say your fiance is on the blower. She's waiting for you now. Elsie? Really? That's weird. Uh, thanks, I'll see you around. Hey, Elsie. How much money will last for a month in me house? What? I don't know, it depends upon the square footage. And yet you can't keep pretending to be my fiance just to talk to me at work. I see you're in some trouble and strife this morning. Yeah, and it seems you're mine now. Ha! I am. So, what go on? Well, the public relations guy front has us sorting through these files for any dirt to give to the press. He asked for me to deliver it, but I don't feel good about it. So if I'm caught out, well, I mean, I'm not the sneakiest person to begin with. Trust me with time-sensitive files in a time-sensitive matter. Nah, I mean, it sounds pretty dirty for someone like you. Hmm. I suppose if someone was to, I don't know, come up and take it from my desk when my back was turned and leaked it to the press. Well, you wouldn't be responsible, that's for sure. Something like that could happen to anyone. Yeah. If you take the staircase to the right and head to maintenance, then to the third floor, I'll see you later. Sounds good, my dude. By the way, I'll have a roast in the oven by the time you get home. What? You're cooking now? Well, if I'm pretending to be your wife, it's the only thing I can help you with. Now, get back to your political espionage. Right. We have here the spendings for the late 70s into now. Take that lot to the Gazette as well. Alex, are you sure this would work? It's just, it does seem a little counterproductive. A little like smashing your kneecap to take your mind off a broken toe. This is exactly why it will work, Joanna. Overwhelm the press with a flood of information and they won't be able to handle it. While they do, it gives the brainoids upstairs time to figure out a proper explanation. It's foolproof. Now, have you got it all? You're expecting me to carry this three blocks to the newspaper office? Take one of the carriages. There's a driver called Charmaine. He should get you there quickly. And don't question me. OK, I won't. But if this does play out how I'm expecting it to, and it does go to an inquiry, let it be known this was all your idea. If it works, I'll gladly accept responsibility. We as a party, and myself as a person, are striving to make these changes and work towards a better future. Better future full stop, or better future for all? I guess the latter sounds less self-serving. OK, just to reiterate, we are striving for inclusivity and anything you can say to sell that is good. The past mistakes do not reflect the current goals and so on. I feel like my brain is going to explode. Well, make sure it doesn't. You need to read this to the press in ten minutes. I've got it all organised. They're starting to gather on the steps. I thought we were sending it to them. Why me? You're new, you're fresh, you're untarnished. You are the face of the young people, the future. Send it to the press. It lacks sincerity. Read before the reporters and you can convince them in person. Say anything with enough conviction and you could have them believe the sky was red. Again. Speaking of which, after the Red Fog incident, we need to address the magic issue tomorrow. So this can be a trial run. Now, go out there and put that theatre degree to good use. Well, that wasn't a total fucking disaster. Yeah, optimism. Robertson, you got that file delivered to the press? Ah, uh, yep. Should have it now. They better, or it's your head. They go to printing less than 20 minutes. If it's not there... Hi. I've got a delivery for the editor. Might find it interesting for the lunchtime edition. Something big about the leak this morning. Ta. Oh, oops, sorry, my fault. Nah, you're cool. Hello, I have a delivery to make to the editor. Something related to the leak. Miss Scotson, fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello, Svetlana. Oh, um, so I didn't expect the report to be released today. I thought it was going to press a bit later. Ah, uh, yes. Time is of the essence when it comes to news. It's jolly good to see those bastards squirm. Yes, isn't it just? Well, I don't think too much of Callow, if I'm completely honest. Uh, Joanna, you're here. I am. Several copies each, hot off the press. Well, not quite. More like hot off the delivery man's wagon. But here you go. Seems our plan worked. What is this? What? Government scandal deepens. I don't understand. What the hell is happening? With my speech? Where is it? Oh no, 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 this isn't right. What is this? Where did they get this information? 
Is this true? How the bloody hell do they have records of that? Those spendings were archived and nowhere else. In a lunchtime Gazette exclusive, two news sources have come forward with further details, each corroborating one another and the earlier statements published in this morning's papers. Trenton, calm down. Ah, oh, fuck! Wow. Shut up, Peter. What sources? Where did this come from? Grantham, you knew about this! Joanna, what do you mean by our plan working? What plan? Whatever it was, it wasn't bloody well one of ours. No, this was Alex's plan. Well, Alex and mine. Well, mostly Alex's. I just followed what he said. I did just say our plan because in the end I did do about 50% of it. Well, maybe closer to 60. What bloody plan? Ah, hello everyone. Oh, here he is. Man of the bloody hour. What is it? If we could just uh, take a deep breath and uh, communicate. Alex, what's this plan that Joanna keeps talking about? So I, um, had a plan. Information overload. Sure, there was a lot of stuff reported this morning, and a lot of it was wrong and harmful. We could go about correcting it, but I thought we could give them more than they could handle. They couldn't possibly deal with it all. And it might not have gone exactly how I'd hoped. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sense of this. You tried to counter the leaks by leaking more? Oh, outstanding. Completely. I'm trying really hard to stay calm and think. I had to do public speaking, and you went and stabbed me in the back! Ferguson, put the letter opener down. Will, what are you going to do? Stab me? Ah! You stabbed me! Ah! I can't believe you've done this. Can we get a medic in here? Will has just stabbed Alex. I can see the headline for this evening's edition. Junior Minister Stabs Advisor. Fantastic. Today has been a three-act play. And you, all of you wonderful people, the stagehands behind the scenes, making sure all the actors are ready for their parts. Give yourselves a pat on the back and get ready to knuckle down. We have an election in less than five weeks and all we need to do is assure the government doesn't have a chance of getting back on their feet. Robertson, Turmel, Robertson, come here, the party's champion. I've got a speech for you to give to the press. Think you can handle it? Today you have proved yourself and you have a bright future ahead of you. Why do we do it? All of this governing, the politics. Does it get spat on and scrutinised? You do it for the holidays and tax incentives, Peter. You can read all about it on page four. When I entered politics 40 years ago, I was 16. I didn't believe any of this stuff. Oh, really? (laughs) I'm surprised the man funding a hate group didn't jive with them. All this racist garbage. I didn't care about the elves, the goblins, the magicians. And no, not in the sense that this party didn't care about them. I just wanted to run this country as smoothly as possible. They were doing their own thing and people left them to it as they left us and this party and the people in it just couldn't leave them alone and sought to just make things more and more difficult for them and us in the process. We spent so long trying to suppress them and for what? It just made people angry and more people greedy. When you think about it, I'm just a victim of this system just as much as anyone and I just contributed to it. Maybe it's time to step away from this. Let the people who better understand this work it. Well, that's very insightful, Peter. Maybe you could have said it before you spent a couple of hundred grand of the party's money on boats and holidays. Well, they say hindsight is 2020. So long as I don't have to give up the mansion. I promised it to my eldest daughter and she'll tell me apart more than the press ever could. Families, hey? Would it be nice to have one? I can say, though. There's one elf I'd want to bugger off. Oh, yeah? Who's that? All right, Dave. And yet a DeVoe, elven detective and monster slayer. What can I help you with? That was Out of the Loop, written by Royce Pendergast. Starring Barry Mills as Ferguson, Miguel Fish as Hart, Peter McCallum as Trenton, Stuart Fulton as Grantham, Rivka Pooley as Ms. Craig, Sue Wayne as Joanna, Glenn Pryor as Front, Jacob T. Hodgetts as Jordan, Royce Pendergast as Termel, and Liz Corrick as Agneta. Theme music by Matt Harris. Produced by City Park Radio 2022.